Hey everybody, this is Hannah from the blog The Local Willow. I wanted to come on here today and tell you guys about my kitchen counter coffee bar. I am so excited about this video because I am obsessed with coffee. I'm obsessed with fall. So when I can mix both of those in, I'm golden. So I wanted to come on here today and show you guys that and how I've decorated. I'm not a professional decorator by any means. I am just super excited to share this with you guys and hopefully give you some decor and spo for the fall. And if you have like a small spot on your kitchen counter that you want to turn into a coffee bar, keep watching and I will give you guys like a tour and where I got things from. So stick around and let's get started. Okay, so this is a little overview of our kitchen counter coffee bar area just kind of ignored the breaker box. I'm not really sure how to decorate that one, but this is an overview. We still kind of have a lot to do in our home. I really want to replace these countertops with maybe a chop block kind of wood or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but it's kind of a work in progress, but I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. So we'll start in this corner. <laughs> so my husband had this breadboard specifically made for me. He surprised me with that last week. I was so excited. He had one of his coworkers hand make that for me and I absolutely love it. I think it just adds nice wood texture along with these two items to my kitchen counter coffee bar. And also I have this we picked up, I believe it was at this Christian store at our mall about an hour and a half away. I'm not really sure what it was called, but it was a really sweet store. And then for my caramel and pumpkin coffee syrups, I have purchased these off Amazon. They have these beautiful pumps. I absolutely love them and it's glass. I love these so much. As much as I love the huge syrup bottles that they come in, because I, I have the extras down here, I, as much as I love these, I really, really enjoy having these. They're just so aesthetic. And I got them off of Amazon. I have them linked down below. They also come with a ton of stickers for your coffee syrup bottles. So if you have, say you have mocha or if you have anything else, they're gonna have a sticker for it. But I think I'm eventually gonna make my own stickers for these, but I absolutely love these for the time being. You just pump them out and it it works fantastic and they're really affordable too i think they were 24 dollars for two of them and i have this little copper piece i have hanging i got it from a antique store for four dollars i was pretty excited i need to figure out how to clean that up a little bit i'm not really sure how but i'm working on it <laughs> so we're gonna go right here i have this little wood stand that i got from hobby lobby i believe it was like seven dollars and to add in a little extra razzle dazzle <laughs> to our fall coffee bar i added in these little themed fall coffee pods we got them from aldi i believe it was a pack of 15 for about seven dollars i think but we don't normally buy the coffee pods we usually just use reusable ones because i drink so much coffee that those are just kind of like very wasteful but these were just so cute that we couldn't pass them up. And to add in some fall texture, my mom picked me up this little fabric pumpkin that was handmade from a local artist. I love adding in little pumpkins and handmade things to my home. I think it adds just such a nice touch of character. And so we have some wooden spoons here, little stir sticks in my vintage marmalade jar. I like having wood spoons around to stir things because I think wood is just all around one of the better things you can use for stirring in your food. So that's about it for this corner. There's not really much happening because I didn't really want to overcrowd the space, but I wanted to add just kind of a few things to it. But my mom, she gave me this scale, this vintage scale. I absolutely love it. I have been looking for a for a vintage scale, vintage antique scale for a while now. And she said, I have one. And I was so excited when she told me she had one. I was like, um, I'm gonna take it <laughs> because she was gonna put it in their antique booth. And I said, no, I want it. Okay, but the next thing I am so excited about you guys. 
I have successfully grown our own homegrown pumpkins. This is the first one, and I have a few more that's ready to pick, but they're just so cute on the vine that I'm gonna give them a few more days and then pick them. And then we have some extra mugs here. I picked these up from Home Goods. These are hand painted ceramic mugs. I love the faces on each of the mugs. They are so adorable and they're so smooth. And the handle is just really nice to hold. And it's just an orange inside. I believe these are $4.99 each. This one has a kitty cat on it with a pumpkin and the moon. And inside is all these spider webs. Spiders, bats, you know, the usual Halloween things, but I think it's they're paired together so adorable and you just stack them on top of each other kind of like I had on my scale I really love the look of these they were only $4.99 each so I was just gonna get one but my husband said go ahead and get both of them so I didn't pass that up so <laughs> anyway we just have our basic Keurig coffee maker I'm really wanting to upgrade this because I just drink a lot of coffee and I want some espresso this one you just put in your pod or your uh, coffee filter here and it just makes the pot it's just basic it's not fancy like at all but that's okay it does its job and makes me coffee so i'm happy with it so i want to take you guys up here to the top of our cabinets we have our extra coffee we love black rifle coffee company i absolutely love their coffee i think the vanilla is one of my favorites. Oop, I forgot to put these back where I found them. But I have the, my add-ins up here. We have our sea salt. We have the chocolate and caramel, honey, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, syrups, really anything you want to put in your coffee. I put it up here as our add-in section. Just have some extra cups. We like to use pottery. And we have our little espresso, little, I guess they're espresso shot glasses and then for my husband he is the tea drinker i am not so much a tea drinker but he likes tea and i like hot chocolate so we have some hot chocolate some tea and then we have some cider spices we love this in the fall and winter time we pretty much live off of that <laughs> because it's so good and then let's see up here we have some of the extra coffee pods this one is cinnamon sticky bun coffee and they're all just kind of like flavored. I have another little jar up here with some more and then I have my reusable coffee pod up there and I also have those linked in my Amazon. And we have our coffee filter, some sugar in the back and then we have more caramel sauce or syrup but we ended up switching to that one because it's actually really good in our coffee. I enjoy that a lot more. But up here, we just kind of have some random things, but baking grease, but that doesn't go in coffees, but it's just some extra baking things. So that's about it for that section. And that's really about it for my whole coffee bar area. But I hope this has given you guys some inspiration. It doesn't have to be over the top, but I don't like things over the top, but this works. So I really like this, but if you guys want these, these are linked in my blog post on thelocalwillow.com. And I also added in some extra coffee pods that are kind of like these, but they're not from Aldi, but they're similar. So if you guys want these or if you have any questions, let me know below. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Okay, this is amazing. One last thing. We have these little motion sensor coffee pucks coffee pucks <laughs> we have these motion sensor light pucks up here that you just wave your hand and it brightens up like the whole space you can't really tell it right now but at night sometimes i like a cup of coffee a cup of decaf coffee to just kind of get me going because we're up, always up kind of late because <laughs> that's just our schedule but you just wave your hand right in front of them and then you wave it to turn it off come on yep I also have these linked in my blog post on thelocalwillow.com. They come with a charger, a charging cord, and they also come with a remote control. So you can dim them, you can brighten them. They work just really good. They're just, they're magnetic. So they, you just kind of uh, tape it up here. It comes with a peel and stick and you just pop it up wherever you want. We have them all around our kitchen, so they work great. And you can't even tell they're there unless you're looking at them, you know, kind of like that. But anyway, yep, this is our coffee bar area, so...
I hope this has given you guys some decor inspo. I love this section. It kind of gives me some encouragement to make my own coffee at home, but I also really love making my own coffee at home because it's really expensive to go up to Starbucks or a local coffee shop every day and kind of, you know, pick out a coffee every day because it gets expensive, but it's also a lot healthier to make your own. I also just kind of like take a couple pumps of the pumpkin and then I just make a little mocha pumpkin frappuccino it's amazing. I didn't realize how easy it was to make my own frappuccino at home. But if you guys want to see how I do that, let me know in the comments below and then I can kind of give you guys a tutorial of how I make my own mocha frappuccino. I'm going to learn how to make my husband a caramel frappuccino because he is a caramel guy. I'm a mocha guy. He doesn't like chocolate and I don't like caramel. So <laughs> it works out for both of us. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys have your own coffee bar at home do you have it on your counter or do you have it on a, a cabinet in your kitchen let me know in the comments oh i also wore my skeleton shirt to go with the theme today even though it's kind of fall kind of halloween but it's a mix but anyway let me know in the comments what you guys do for your coffee needs and how you decorate your space but anyway thank you guys for watching and thank you for stopping by don't forget to subscribe like this video and if you want to see more you can check out my full blog post on thelocalwillow.com and let me know what you guys think thanks for stopping by y'all